Hey everybody, this is Alpha Zero at your service. I'm gonna do a review on the second season of Kamisama Hajime Mashita Hajime Mashita or something like that. Sorry if my if I pronounced it wrong. Now for this episode right here, not pretty okay, you know, in terms of what it was given. So if anything else, I'll just get started right away. Okay, at the beginning we see to it that Nanami and Kirihito are invited inside the Netherworld Goddess's place. However, things got a little hectic here and there because nothing has been going so well for Nanami as Kirihito gets kidnapped. As for Nanami, she ends up eating a bun, which is for which is a bad thing, but it was actually a talisman that replaced that. And I'm going, well, ain't that a fact? And later we see to it that Kirihito, which is probably what, well, it's a demon that's possessing his body for the meantime. He ends up having a. He ends up having. A, he ends up remembering like how he met a human boy, and he says, "Hey, can you do me a favor? Like, um, can you say that I'm sorry or something?" He says, "I can't do that for you because I'm stuck here. I have no body." He says, "You go to you go to my body then." And therefore, he he takes over the body and says, "Sorry, you know." And right now things are just getting a little hectic for him as he's trying to find his real real body back, or trying to find a way how to resurrect his real body. And then Nanami comes in, saves him, and he get he hugs her, and he says he want and maybe he just wants to know what the warmth of probably something that he's been waiting for, you know, etc. Later on, we see to it that Nanami and Kirihito is trying to escape, and Tomoe has been informed that Nanami, on the other hand, is trapped in another world or in trouble, and this really upsets Tomoe, so he goes out to go rescue her. And Nanami and Kirihito is trying to avoid like in the goddess Netherworld, Netherworld's goddesses um subordinate or familiar from causing any trouble or ruckus. However, Tomoe Tomoe ends up arriving at the entrance, but the god of war or war god is in the war, in the way, and Tomoe tries to fight him. However, he can't. So he asks Kotetsu or Nanami, one of Nanami's assistants, to change him back into his yokai form. And he goes back to his true form, defeats the war god probably, or drives him off, and then saves Nanami and saves Kiri Kirihito as well. However, Kirihito says, I miss you, Tomoe. And then there's some flashbacks of how they met, and I think they might have gotten to a major fight, which is to my question right now. If they were good friends back then, why did they fight now? Which is a which is something that I'm trying to understand right now. So, for the meantime, we see to it. We see to it that um, that Nanami and Kirihito gets out, gets gets out of the netherworld, and Kirihito has a knife to his neck while Nanami is like um out cold while she's tired. This causes Tomi to say, "So this is the thanks I get for rescuing your butt," and he says. This is the last time or something, Kirihito says. And Tomei knows knows who the guy was. And ends there. Next episode, I think this might be a second romance confession whatsoever, I, I believe. But who knows? Looking forward to see where this where this is go going to go. Because right now, like um, things are getting a little hectic here and there. Because that, I think a little small flashback between the between Tomei and, Tome and his previous or former friend like um might be serious might be important to the plot so not a bad episode you know i'm gonna end it here people i don't know what to expect but maybe some other maybe some backstories that could explain more about tomie tomie's um past with this former friend probably i don't know but whatever it is hopefully it gets it gets explained i'm off of zero people have a good day and i'll see you guys tomorrow or so all right Later, peace out, bye-bye.